We're here for our weekly volleyball press conference with head coach Carolyn Condon. Coach, a runner-up finish in the MAC tournament this year. So now the Red Hawks own a 24-6 and record and a pretty good RPI. Uh, so they have a decent argument for an at-large bid for the NCAA tournament. Why should the team be considered when the selection committee meets this week? Well, you know, I guess I can give us a couple reasons I hope they consider. Uh, certainly one is that um, we, we're a skilled team and we've played a variety of good RPI teams throughout the season. Uh, we also um, played of our 20, let's see, I'm sorry, of our eight first competitive experiences, six were on the road. And it was probably one of the most grueling road schedules that I've ever had at Miami with the team. And I really like how they push through it. We, uh, early on, you know, were two or three tournaments on the road. We played at Missouri, defeated Missouri in five. It was a great match. Went on to play at Auburn, I won their tournament, defeated Auburn, played Cincinnati on the road, defeated Cincinnati. Played Xavier at Miami. We defeated them here. And we also went to Dayton midweek. Uh, of course, they're doing well again. Most of these teams are still doing well in their own conferences. And uh, we started strong in that match. And when Paige, our top middle, went down, uh, we ended up not doing as well after set two. Uh, but it was a great match. Dayton's a great team. And uh, overall, just to be a part of that, knowing we had a chance to win that match was very exciting on the road. So very proud of, of so many different things this season. Uh, you know. Our team's demonstrated so many times that they can grind and they can outwork opponents and something they take great pride in. Um, overall, uh, you know, when we, when we started uh, with the big win at Missouri and went on to continue to win to get into a 20-match win streak, eventually it became the longest streak in the country, and I hope that that's something that's also considered for us. And, you know, we did a pretty good job within our conference of uh, leading in statistics in terms of attack percentage, and also we were one or two through most of the year in opponent attack percentage. So I hope that these numbers also speak some volume to the committee. So if an NCAA tournament bid isn't in the cards this year, how do you assess the season? And what will you remember most about this group? Well, uh, we assess it in a very fine way because of how well our young women competed and you know how much they won this year. Um, I remember the most how driven and the type of leadership that our seniors provided on the court. They were amazing, and we will certainly miss them. And uh, you know, along with very key, two or three key juniors that were on the court most of the time, and also led by example in their hard play. So that's probably my most vivid memory. Um, I also remember how this team grinded, and how they came into practice every day, and it's not a team that coaches had to try to motivate. They came in inspired and, and ready to make each other better and how they competed, and even on stressful academic days, which Miami certainly experiences uh, with their student athletes, they came in and they brought it. And that was, that was very exciting and very, um, just a great experience for coaches to appreciate that and be a part of that with the team. I also remember uh, the three earned uh, over a thousand digs, one of them being our senior 6'2 setter, Crystal Burkoskis, who you know, worked so hard, couldn't be on the court for six rotations, but achieved that in her career, along with Maris Bilo, our senior six rotation, who had an outstanding senior season. And uh, early in the year, we, we recognized May for a thousand digs on the barrow. So that was, uh, that was just a ton of fun and uh, part of the memories that we'll have. And, you know, overall, the way this team competed and the way they practiced, um, I know that it will leave a legacy in our program and it will inspire the 2017 and 2018 teams and our prospects that are already committed. I, I think they're excited to join what we have going on right now. And um, I thank my athletes for that. I thank our crowd this year for uh, being a part of such a fun season with a team that's so athletic. So I remember those things, and uh, we're just keeping our fingers crossed that, that we certainly can be considered for, for this at-large bid. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.